first date can lead to a second date. And then that might lead to a third. And then maybe even going steady. And that might lead to marriage. Imagine me, Mrs. Marsha Dennist. <laughs> Mrs. Marsha Dennist. Mrs. Marsha Dennist. Marsha Brady, you promise to love, honor, brush up and down, and see your dentist twice a year? I do. And you, Dr. Dentist, do you take Marsha for better or worse? for cavities, for root canal work, and orthodontia? I do. With the powers vested in me by the Dental Association, I now pronounce you wife and dentist. <laughs> to you. I guess I was daydreaming. And what a dream. Marsha, dinner's just about ready. You better get cleaned up. Okay. Mom, when's dinner? We're stars. Any minute now. Cindy, Cindy, would you get me a couple of napkins, please? Okay. Well, Alice, I think we're just about ready. So are the dinner rolls. Ready for dinner. We're dreadfully hungry. In a moment, my angels. <laughs> oh, mon petit Cindy. Get me two napkins, s'il vous plaît. Oui, mademoiselle Alice. And I shall help you. Ah, madame, the children, they are fantastic. A blessing. Dinner, Marcia. Marcia. Oh, uh, uh, I'm coming, Mom. Well, I'll have to tell Marcia. Oh, well, thanks. Bye. Marcia? Yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, we'll make it short, okay? I've got to get on this algebra. Well, I was just talking to my friend Kathy, and she's got a friend who has a sister, and she was thinking of going out with a married man. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Well, I think that's terrible. But uh, what if she was in love with this man? Well, it still doesn't make any difference. He's a married man. But what if she didn't find that out till after they fell in love? Well, it's still wrong. Can you imagine what kind of life this poor girl would have? Hiding in the shadows, waiting by herself as the clock ticks off the empty hours, doomed to be the other woman for life. It's not for me. I'm glad to hear you say that, because he's married. Who's married? Dr. Vogel.